everybody, welcome back to my channel. Cindy here with Bubble Hunter Soaps. Today I'm going to be making the fourth and final soap in my men's collection. The name of the soap is called The Duke, and of course that's John Wayne. We all love me uh, a western, and uh, of course John Wayne. You can't make a western soap without him. The scent that I'm using today is called Tobacco Caramel from the Flaming Candle. And the scent notes, I have my iPad out here. It says, a hint of orange adds lift to the tobacco leaf accord that characterizes this fragrance. Warm tones of oak and patchouli create dimension for the blend as a base of sweet sugary caramel balances the earthy tones. It says top notes of orange, middle, tobacco leaf, lavender, wood, patchouli, and bottom notes of caramelized vanilla and musk. It has 4.2% vanillin, and it doesn't have any soaping notes other than that. So, I don't know if the soap is, uh, this uh, scent is going to accelerate. I don't know if it's going to discolor, although with that vanillin content, it most likely will. Um, even though it is a clear fragrance. We're going to take precautions, and it's going to be brown soap anyway. Um, in here, I have my melted oils and my certified fair trade shea butter and if you watch the grease lightning soap video you will understand why i went ahead and melted it that one accelerated and i wanted to give myself a little bit of a chance on this one and um so i went ahead and melted the coconut palm and the certified shea butter in my bowl in my blue pitcher I am using beer again with sodium hydroxide all of these soaps are beer soaps and in my liquid oils I have olive oil hemp seed oil castor oil I also have kaolin clay buttermilk powder and sodium lactate. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add these liquid oils to my melted hard oils and my butter, and then we'll just go ahead and get started. And I apologize for my arm. We're not at a great angle on this video today. Set that aside, because I'm gonna come back to it. And let's go ahead and get that beer and sodium hydroxide lye into those oils and the butter. This will get thick no matter what because of the sugars in the beer. I just don't want the scent to accelerate any more than it already would. I think I'm gonna try and just stir it to an emulsion. We'll see what happens. And you'll see that the color, you might not be able to see, the color will turn kind of caramely just by putting that lye and beer solution right in there. And you can smell the beer in it. It's not gonna transfer into the soap once it's saponified, but right now you can smell it. It's not an offensive smell to me. I'm not a beer person, but, um, it doesn't smell bad. I'm gonna do a quick little blend. And I just made another soap. That's why my stick blender's dirty, but that doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and blend this. Call that good for now. Set my stick blender aside. And then I'm gonna split this off. I was hoping to do kind of an ombre soap. I don't know if I'll be able to get that done or not. We'll see what happens Pour that off So 
so the colors I have today are Red Drum from Mad Micas and Hot Man on a Tin Roof. Mad Micas. Don't you just love their the names of their Micas? So I'm gonna just go ahead and add them. I also have some titanium dioxide mixed with some water just in case I can get that ombre effect. If I don't, I don't, but I'm hoping to get a little something. And like I said, the fragrance is tobacco caramel from the flaming candle. I'm going to go ahead and try and hand mix this for now. Would be better if I had a whisk, but I didn't pull one out, so I'm just gonna go with what I've got. I am gonna stick blend it a little bit to get that uh, mica incorporated. I just don't want to blend it too much. So I apologize for shaking the camera and I will be just hand stirring in the fragrance oil for now. If it rices, I will get the stick blender out, but for now I'm just gonna play it by ear. And you can really smell that uh, caramel in the background with that uh, fragrance. So that sweet scent might accelerate it. And if that's the case, we will just improvise. We'll go ahead and do an in the pot swirl. And I'm going to start with the dark one. I'm not going to put it in the lighter one yet. So far so good. I'm going to go ahead and put my first, I'm going to try the ombre. We'll see what happens. Oops. You probably can't see what I'm doing. Does that help? Some of that titanium dioxide, just a little bit. Stir that in. Since it's dispersed in water already, there's no reason to get the stick blender out. Next layer. titanium dioxide. Next layer. A 
last time with the titanium dioxide in that one. You can see that color. a little bit back for the top but we'll get most of that in there next up yeah this one's already getting thick of course it's been sitting there it has no fragrance oil in it I'm going to go ahead and add that fragrance oil now. It might loosen it up. Very handsome scent. Very masculine. some titanium dioxide. And with that titanium dioxide, because it's got water in it, it'll loosen it up a little bit too. Get that mixed in. layer. You notice I'm pouring just on that one side. Whew, my arm's getting tired. Last little bit of titanium dioxide. Get that mixed in. This scent has behaved well, even with the beer in there. So I would highly recommend this one. Even with the, the ombre pour I'm doing, it's worked out well. Get that a little shaky shake. And then we'll get the rest of that in there. Do another little shaky shake. Oop, we'll have to scrape that out. I know goggles are have their purpose with this. You want to protect your eyes, but every time we're starting to fog up on me right now. Sure, I am not the only one. All right, I almost put that in there. Well, I am pleasantly surprised. I'm very happy with how that worked on for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the rest of this one out, and then we'll do just a little, little design on top. Probably just a swirl.
a little shaky shake get it all even in there I'm gonna do a quick little cleanup and I will be right back and we'll swirl that top okay I am back and we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick little swirl on top and then I'll show you the top I sure hope that inside turns out. I'm so excited. I believe that is my first ombre. Or something similar to it anyway. And there is the Duke. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will bring you back for the cut. Hey everybody, I'm back for the cut of the Duke. This one does have a little bit of ash on top, which is just fine. It doesn't take away from the soap itself. And those colors are kind of muted, which is just fine. And if you remember right, I did an ombre pour with this one. Sometimes it's difficult to get these out of those out of the silicone. So I want to at least try to video and show you what I do to get it out. We'll get this out of the way. Sometimes I have to just do the do the peel down. It is a little bit soft yet, and that. Uh, is because of the silicone as well. Sometimes it's the fragrance, but oh, it's coming out nice. Oh, I feel the side have an air pocket. So there are the sides to the Duke, and I am ecstatic to see what it looks like on the inside. So let's go ahead and get this cut. I'm gonna cut the ends off and it is fairly soft yet. Just a little bit off that end. And this one was scented with tobacco caramel from the flaming candle and definitely get those that tobacco note I'm not sure about the caramel but oh that is cool that is neat I love how that turned out very soft yet and it is over 24 hours but sometimes it just ends up being a little softer. I love how that turned out. That is gorgeous. And with this one, as well as the man with no name, which I have sitting here, I just cut. Um, I did these two a little bit different than the Rebel and Grease Lightning. If you, if you watch the other two videos, um, Grease Lightning and The Rebel, I did the heat transfer method. And when you're working with beer, I would highly recommend melting your hard oils and butters and getting your lye and beer solution ready beforehand because that grease lightning one accelerated on me and it was not fun to work with. But these, this one, did, it, it was a perfect pour, it was gorgeous. And I love the colors in this. It, it turned out exactly like I wanted it to. But you definitely smell the tobacco in it. 
um, maybe a way, way, way back note of caramel. I'm not sure. They're all very similar. They have that layered look. It's absolutely gorgeous. They smell good. And the beer note is not there. It, it does not smell like beer. With some of these, it wouldn't have been bad if it did, but. <laughs> yeah, they all look almost exactly the same, but they're all gorgeous. And keep cutting until it's done. And then I will show you all four next to each other. And there is the Duke Tobacco Caramel from the Flame and Candle. I did the ombre or gradient pour, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get this out of the way. Then we will bring out the all, th all four of the soaps in the new November collection. I have Rebel, Grease Lightning, Man with No Name, and The Duke. I'll bring you down give you a quick peek. I hope you like them. They will be available in the on the website for the November update. Thank you for watching.